Okay, Frank Bernardo here for Low Kick MMA. Joining me today is Modestus Bukowskis, off the heels of you know, a massive return victory to the UFC. Modestus, thank you for your time today. Um, first of all, yeah, how's it going? Yeah, thank you very much for having me, brother. Um, good to speak to you. And yeah, everything's going great. I've just finished training now myself. Uh, back on the grind. We never rest, ready for whenever another opportunity arises. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, um, you know, the, the successful win, return. Um, talk to me sort of about your emotions first, like inside the cage immediately after getting your hand raised. And then also just now that it's had some time to sort of sink in properly. Yeah, like I had a very uh, sort of euphoric opening, like walkout, actually, in terms of I felt a real energy Um like, although I was getting booed, like, mm. when, I, when I was walking out, I felt so calm. Like, it was weird to me that I felt that calm, but it was probably the most present I've ever felt. Like, I felt, like, really in the moment, I could I could feel everything. I could see everything. I could hear, like, everything just felt like 4K, you know, Ultra mm. TV. That's what it felt like. Whereas in some fights previously, especially when I've lost, everything's, like, a bit fuzzy. You feel like you're third person. You feel like you're not really... You have like an out of body experience, but here I felt like in the moment, ready to go. Um, you know, I could feel my like my ancestors giving me strength and energy, and even like my like I had a weird like moment where I felt like my grandparents' like presence because uh, they both passed away from my dad's side, and I remember just saying to my dad just before we walked out, I said, uh, you know grandma and granddad like they're giving us they're giving us energy i'm feeling it we're going to go in and, and do the job and that that in itself gave me even more confidence so when i walked out into into a hostile crowd mm. um it was it was actually amazing because the the hostility of the crowd actually gave me energy i was it was just i think even one guy put his arm out to to, to shake my hand so um you know it's good it is very amazing for me to see how much australia supports his athletes how much it supports the sport itself. Um, it was amazing. Um, in the fight, obviously, you know, I did what I had to do. Um, I probably could have pulled the trigger maybe a little bit more. I, I definitely threw a lot more shots than I normally do. Um, but, you know, obviously having to travel so far, literally four days, like on Wednesday morning we got there, and then you had to fight by Sunday morning. So it was a little bit, uh, you know, a very rushed experience. But then uh, when we got in there, I felt very calm. I felt, you know, I'm, 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 letting, off, I'm letting off my shots, letting my hands go. There's a couple of times where I definitely hurt him. Um, obviously, he had a very nice takedown in the first, but I always felt like I was comfortable. And then after the fight, I just had like a rush of emotions. I, I think there's a there's a post on my Instagram with my dad. We just had like a little moment after before I had to do an interview with uh, John Gooden, and um, and it was amazing, obviously, to see John Gooden as well because uh, you know two 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 boys from Watford coming up, you know, living their living out their dreams. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously. It was like a rush. It was like a like I couldn't control the tears because of all the crap that I've been through to get to this point. So it was amazing to to get the win, you know, in enemy territory, you know, with an amazing and it was amazing just to walk out and you know people clapping, you know, and stuff like that because they were amazing. They're an amazing crowd, um, and yeah, it was uh, it was definitely one for the history books and one for me personally within my life. This is like a. I can pinpoint this on my life and 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 say this was an, an amazing memory, you know? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, even going into it, obviously you were short notice against a home crowd favourite. Um, I I can't remember what the odds were, but you know, you were you were booked as an as an underdog in the fight. Um, and then yeah, going out there and getting the win. Um, what was the sort of the Australia experience as a whole? Because like obviously they were quite hostile to anyone who wasn't uh, from mm -hmm. Australia or New Zealand, but it seems like from what I've heard, aside from the fight itself, the fans were were amazing to the the fighters. Yeah, they 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 they, they were lovely, man. Like I said, they were lovely. I had some Australians come up to me and you know take some pictures. Um, so yeah, like the, the the people were lovely. I was even saying to to Will afterwards, we need we need to come back out here again and just like do you know what I mean? And to my dad, I said we need to come back out here again just just to relax, you know, just to, just to visit. Um, and even get some training in because there was, there was an absolutely amazing, lovely guy um, that was there. He he owned a gym um, just near to the uh, near 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 to the uh, to the hotel that we use. What what a lovely fellow that guy was, and um, yeah, like everyone everyone was cool, man. Like like I said, they all enjoy the sport. They all like you know like really support it. 
And um, yeah, it's just it's just a play of the game. Do you know what I mean? It's like, obviously, you're going to have to boo, boo the away guy. Do you know what I mean? You're going to, I would expect the same if someone was coming into my country, into my country. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it, that's what makes the sport so special and so amazing. So you got you got to embrace and love it all, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, looking at the performance itself, how would you sort of rate it? Like give yourself a sort of yeah breakdown of your performance. Um to be honest, he caught me with a very nice trip. It was like a misdirection. Yeah. Uh, I don't normally get taken down from from a body lock like that, you know. So that 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 did kind of surprise me a little bit because usually I stop. They go forward and they try and trip over the leg forward, and and I usually stop that, which is what I did or what I felt I was doing. And then he misdirected, so that was very nice. Um, there's certain things that could have been tighter, that could have been better on the floor. Like I could have grabbed a single leg harder to get up. I could have uh, the guillotine escape. I've been working on it literally for week, week, like many weeks, anyway. So that that worked to plan uh, when he when he when he went for the guillotine. Um, in terms of the striking, I could have let my hands go a little bit more because I felt like I had an edge in the boxing. Uh, he had very good kicks. He, you know, he was very deceptive. You know, he had good like fakes and everything. But overall, I mean, you know, to come out on two weeks' notice, I feel like I, you know, I definitely showed that I'm that I'm supposed to be there. Um, but yeah, obviously there's things to work on, things to improve upon. Um, and we're just going to, you know, that's what I'm doing now, essentially. The, the holes that I found in the fight, I'm working on them now to improve them, make them better. And then uh, we can come up with even better performances in the future. So if you're saying out of 10, I'll probably give it like a, probably I'd say a seven. Nice. Um, after the fight, you were sort of, you know, just initial reaction was pushing for a place in the UFC 286 in London. Um Paul Craig was mentioned. Um, <laughs> we're four weeks away or so. Um, has there been any talks on that? Or does it seem like it's not happening? Uh, no, nothing at all, mate. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, it would be great. I think, you know, for the longest time, UK number one has been Paul Craig. I've been UK number two for mm. a very long time. So, you know, it, it, it would have been nice. But obviously, you know, both of us have just come up with fights. Yeah. Um, you know, I think he, he's, he's got stuff that he's working. I think, I don't know if he's in America at all. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, and I know he's ranked very highly. Obviously, it's a bit of a bit of an ask, you know, to, 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 to but, you know, you, you've got to believe in yourself. You've got, mm-hmm. you, you've got to know what your skill sets are. And, you know, I do believe that I'll have uh, a skill set that'll be very, uh, very dangerous for him. But, um, yeah, anyways, somewhere on down the line, you know, so. So if not Craig, is there any other names out there like you got your eye on? Uh, do you know what? There, there's there's a lot of you know now the light heavyweight division seems to be um, coming up a little bit more. You know, like uh, I've seen that, that, that there's been guys that fought recently, so it's like you can't really ask for somebody to, to mm. come very very early. I can't really think of anyone like that springs to mind. Um, I do like the Zach Pogo match. Oh, yeah. Um, I see, but again, he's just fought very recently. But I, I do think that would be that would be a good fight. Um, so yeah, like we'll see, we'll see what happens, mate. Now the light heavyweight division starting to come about a little bit more. Um, there's 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 more interesting matchups even lower down in the rankings. So yeah, we'll see what comes next. Awesome. Um, I've got to bring up Will Curry. Uh, because <laughs> he had one of the best performances on the night from a you know, someone who's not actually fighting. Um, you guys seem to have a really sort of solid bond between you and, um, you know, he was getting praise from from the, the commentary team and all. What's it like having a guy like that in your corner and obviously in the training room day in, day out? He's my boy. He's my boy. He's, he's like a little brother, you know? Um, it, it It's so amazing to 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 be able to, to go out to Australia, like the three amigos, you know, mm. we get on so well, like dad, me, Will, you know, and Will's someone who, you know, he he's he's like me in the sense of that he he does things from the heart, and and you know that's how I feel our connection together as as fighters and and as friends have has really come up. Like he's family, do you know what I mean? It's like you know, got guys like um, Ari as well, um, who who trains my jiu jitsu. You know, um, you know, I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm very I, I have a very strong bond with the people that I'm with. And as well, Danny, unfortunately, he couldn't make it to the event. But, um, you know, Danny Batten as well has been a very, very close um, help in my overall development on my game. But, yeah, Will's a guy who's taught me many lessons. He's much younger than me, but he's he's taught me many lessons that have been needed in order for me to get the best out of myself. He was literally, you know, 
I didn't even train with him like that specifically uh, before the Khalil fight. And he was the only one to, you know, to, to come to my house and, you know, like basically like just say, yo, I hope you're okay. And, you know, hang out with me a little bit because obviously mm. you're sitting in a bloody crutches and, and a bad leg, you know what I mean? And he, 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 he gave me an edge in terms of bringing out the darkness, you know, instead of, you know, trying to be, well, not, not even trying, but just me as a person in general, I like to be, you know, polite. I like to, at least I try to be anyways, like, you know, I, I want to be nice to people. I want to be a good person. You want to be, you know, respectful. And, you know, there's just times where you need to turn it on. And I think you really need that in fighting. And uh, he's definitely helped bring that out of me. And yeah, like, like I say, the bond between me and my team and Will and my dad and everyone else, I couldn't be any stronger at this point, and I'm very thankful to have them all in my life, and uh, I'm looking forward to the future with all of them. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, one more on Will. He's sort of following a very similar route to yourself, making his way through the Cage Warriors um, circuit, set to a fight for a title now. Uh, he's even got sort of a, a near-identical record to what you had before you got the UFC call-up. Uh, he will. He will. Yeah. Because when he wins, and he becomes 10-2, and, and he goes to the UFC, he'll be oh. exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon that that's yeah. that's the right next step for him like like you say like yeah you were at the exact same spot did you feel ready for the ufc call up when you got it and do you think he's ready for it now do you know what i'll say the difference um skill set wise i've always been ready yeah. but uh, mentally i don't think I was, I was really ready as i thought i was and even just certain but even then technical aspects i'm so much better than i was back then mm. do you know what i mean I, like the guy that the guy now would shit on the guy back then that was in the UFC. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, me right now is a completely different animal. And um, Will 100% is ready. So I feel, you know, w- with a win, most likely he'll, he'll, he'll be getting a call up. Um, if not, then, you know, maybe one title defense. But yeah. I mean, you know, you look at his skill set, you look at how good he is. And his next performance will show that he's ready. And uh, I truly believe in him. And, um, yeah, he, you you can you can expect the same type of corner work coming from me uh, as as he did for my fight. Um, you know, all coming from the heart with passion. So yeah, he he's he's, a, he's an incredible fighter, uh, incredible in addition to to to, to my training camp uh, as well. Like ever since we've been training together with my dad, like we've just been leveling up massively. So you know, um, I'm very thankful to have him, and you know, just very thankful that you know my dad as well. We, we can do so many more things now because we've we've got that guy with us, and uh, it makes my dad even you know bring more energy and and stuff like that. And you know, my dad's always been a, a mainstay and a big part of my my career. And uh, yeah, it's just amazing. It's amazing vibes, mate. I, I can't I can't say anything more than that. Brilliant. Uh, out of interest, um, do you, do you follow like K Warriors outside of um? Yeah, you know, outside of your own teammates, yeah. yeah. So, um, obviously, yeah, it's had a big part of to play in your career. Are there any names out there outside of you know the likes of Will um, that you think you know fans should keep an eye on for the future right now on the come up? Jordan Vichenik, yeah, um, would definitely be one of them. Um, unfortunately, in his in his last fight, he had a very you know bloody outcome to his fight. You know, uh, with with a decision loss, um, it was a very you know very very uh, very tough fight for him. But it, it, it has helped him. Um, it has, you know, it has helped him progress in his skill set, and I believe it will help him a lot in his career going forward. He's got a, he's got a, even more focus than he had before, and he already was very focused before, and now he's got even more focus and even more drive. You know, his skill sets are only going to improve, and um, yeah, he's definitely going to be one to watch out for. He's actually also a teammate of mine, but he's uh, I must say at featherweight. I mean, that guy he's the man so mm-hmm. watch out for him absolutely yeah for Janet currently booked everyone definitely keep an eye out for him um at the very top of your division in the UFC there's a lot going on right now um come the end of the year who do you think sits at the top of that that division who holds the title at the end of the year um who sits at the top I don't know um mm-hmm. Like realistically, I mean Jamal Hill looks very looks very good right now. Yuri Prohaska is going to give him a hell of a hard time. I don't know when Rakic is coming back. There's Ankle Live as well in the mix. Alex Pereira, so you know, oh, Alex Pereira <laughs> potentially as well. Um, thinking about moving up. 
so yeah i mean it's an interesting division bro yeah. i mean you know look i'll be working my way up so you know i'll be working my way towards the 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 top 15 um hopefully i'll be able to get at least two more two two if not three fights this year mm. On top, top of what I've already had, so you know I'll be making my 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 way up the rankings as well. So you know it's a very interesting division, but yeah, exactly. The the guys at the top, I reckon it'll be like a like a shuffle, like, yeah. you know, like a shuffle board of, of, of different positions because, like I said, they're all very interesting matchups, and and each has their own particular strength. Even Jan Blachowicz, I mean, mm -hmm. he had a really good performance against him live. So you know. Like I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure the championship will be changing hands very frequently. <laughs> um, okay, so just to wrap up then, let me just get two predictions from you for some big up yeah. fights. Uh, UFC London, obviously, unfortunately not going to be on the card, but we have um, our own sort of, you know, Leon Edwards defending his title in the trilogy with Kamaru Usman. Um, do you think he, he defends the belt? How does it go? 100%. 100%. Um, he's in home territory. He hasn't got to worry about altitude. Um, in the first round against Usman, he smashed it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, Usman then did his thing, you know, with the later rounds. But as you can see, his striking is very, very tricky. Um, he's going to have the advantage, like I said, not having to worry about the altitude, flights, all this kind of stuff. And um, yeah, on home turf. So, you know, uh, I think that energy will, will will help give him the performance of his life. He, he's yet to be like a. I think this is his first main event in the UK. Leon's, yes, I believe so, because he co-mained co with Gunnar, didn't he? But I think this is yeah. his first main. So, look, I mean, the, what what a massive opportunity. And I know he's training, he's going to be working very hard. So I do believe Edwards will keep the belt. Awesome. Um, and then one that I genuinely find impossible to predict due to just all the circumstances surrounding it is John Jones versus Cyril Garn. UFC 285. Um, do you, yeah, do you find yourself leaning one way or the other? Because I, I genuinely can't, like, I have no idea how it's going to go. Uh, I believe John Jones will take that. Um, you know, he, a lot of people think, oh, well, he's been out of the cage. Well, yeah, he's been out of the cage, but don't think, it's the same like me. Everyone thought, oh, I'm just been out of yeah. the cage. And then, you know, and then next thing you know, I'll go on a free fight win streak. So, you know, he's been working. You know, he's, he's been he's been training. He's been building his body to be ready for the heavyweights. Look at him. He's freaking like 250 pounds, you know. He's an absolute animal. And, you know, obviously his striking is very versatile. His wrestling is really good. His ground game is really good. So, you know, Ngannou was able to take game down. And, you know, wrestling's not exactly, you could say, his forte. And, you know, obviously he's, Ngannou has been working a lot on it. Obviously, at, uh, Extreme Couture. But, you know. John Jones has had the mainstay of wrestling for his whole life. So uh, for that to be a massive factor in this fight uh, against Garn, who was not able to stop the takedowns, you know, uh, I think Jones has the overall skill set to, again, solidify himself as the GOAT. Brilliant. Yeah, it does have that big fight feel to it. It's, yeah, the sport is only better with John Jones back in the mix, I think. Definitely. Um, thank you so much for your time today, Modestus. Um, it's yeah, been a cracking interview. Any shout out sponsors? Uh, you know, if you want to let people know where to find you on social media, uh, the floor is yours. Yeah. Mate, thank you so much once again for having me. I really appreciate it. It's always like I say, it's good talking to you. Um, so um I'll just start with like obviously like my dad, um, obviously Will, RAS the fan uh, pure jiu-jitsu, uh, Hodger Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, um Prometheus Combat, and Dead, you know, BST Academy, Danny Batten, you know, so so all the places that I train, um, they've been absolutely amazing. They have all my sparring partners as well, um, like, you know, like Simeon Powell and and, and Luke and, uh, and Bertie and Mario, you know, so as well. Um, so, yeah, well, I've got a mainstay of amazing people that, that are all helping me to to, to, to become the best and, and it's, it's really helping me out a lot. So um, I've got to give a massive shout out to everyone that I'm training with. Um and also on socials, uh, M-O-D-Y-B-24. And um, on uh, Twitter, I think it's at Baltic Gladiator. Um, and I'd also like to say a big thank you to Leanne, uh, who is my physiotherapist. She's been doing my physio for years now. and She's just had a baby as well, so congrats to her. Um, but, you know, I've just come back from one of the worst injuries in combat sports. So along with the amazing doctors... Um, at Harley Street, um, she has been a 
a massive help in me coming back to full form. So if anyone needs any physio, distinct physiotherapy is where you need to go. Um, also, Fighter Shop UK always provides me with, 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 with stuff whenever I need it. And Iridium Sports Agency, I mean, what can I say about them? They are the best agency in the world. And I'm so glad to be part of their team. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you once again, Modestus. And um, hopefully we'll we'll get you back on soon. All right, my man, my man. Have a lovely day, yeah? Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.